What's up? What's up, family? We back again. And oh, let's see. Just see what messages come out for the collective. I shade. Get the shuffle game going. Get the cards out. Last card. Last call for alcohol bottom of the deck what do we have <laughs> maybe you get blueprint vibes okay you're you're about to be teaching other people coaching other people you're leading by example you're showing people how to overcome and be, be victorious over spiritual warfare um You are the blueprint. You will be the blueprint. Okay? Because you will be victorious. Came out in the last read. Victory. That wanted to come out. So we're going to... I'm going to go ahead and pull that out too. bottom of the deck what do we have okay got some people going through some emotional sickness they are obsessed okay they are addicted to your energy not in the right way because if they were addicted to your energy in the right way they will follow the blueprint that you have put forward people are still suffering from childhood trauma they're in competition with you they're jealous they're spiteful they're depressed and they're stuck. That's part of their karma. To continue to be on that same cycle. And not heal. We were once there. Collective. We were once there. But we took the, we did, we took the time to learn. Self. So, first law. Is the law of preservation. And you took it, the time out. To, to know thyself. To understand what your triggers are and to heal them bottom of the deck withholding praise they're withholding from you they're withholding their love to make you thirst for them they're addicted to holding back their love they're addicted to doing little dumb shit to try to drain your energy the theme for this read is overlooking red flags okay it says slow down and reflect slow down and reflect you might you may have overlooked the red flags of this emotional sickness from these people that refuse to support you to eat even the smallest support as in giving you praise and saying I'm proud of you you're doing a good you're doing a good job or just helping you out None of it is what you receive. First card that we're clarifying is sound healing. And again, those words of affirmations from those people that praise could be the sound, sound healing as well. But these people refuse to give you that because they're jealous. They're jealous. Clarifying sound healing, we have earth angel. You are an earth angel giving king of pentacles energy. Um, you got the Midas touch. Everything you touch turns to gold. You feel me? Next card says you inspire people to reconsider the true meaning of life. 
Blueprint vibes. Blueprint vibes. You have changed the game. You have changed the blueprint. By simply believing in yourself and, and allowing your true and authentic self to flourish. Get business affairs in order. Okay? That's coming out. Next card to clarify with sound healing. So speak life into the things that you're creating and building. Clarifying. Get business affairs in order is flow. Once you get your business affairs in order, things are going to begin to flow for you like never before. And then we have the initials F, P, and X. Okay? So there could be some people who have those letters in their um, first or first, middle or last name that may be help can be of help of for you to get your business affairs in order. But again, remember you can go at it alone as as well. So don't get don't hold you know hold yourself back or get held up by that. Okay. These, uh, they may be able to get your business affairs in order. They may be people that come that you can hire to delegate things to, or they can just simply be people that will come along and root you, root you on. Next card that we're going to clarify is everything done is it's asking the question is everything done with integrity? What is your part in this? If there, so, this is that accountability. It literally says accountability on here. It says 90, 99 and a half won't do. Okay. So. Is there anything that you need? Accountability with the overlooking red flags. I feel like there's a lot of people that need to take accountability for that. Um, perhaps you've experienced some obsessed energy. Some addicted energy. Um, we've all been in the space where our childhood traumas has, have, has triggered us. In what ways have we been triggered and have we taken accountability for that? Jealous or spiteful? Have we addressed those things within ourselves? Have we made the apologies needed if we have been the offender? Okay. Blueprint vibes. And I really feel like you have. And I really feel like you, you do everything with integrity. So, if there's any accountability that you need to take, take it. But let's, let's get the clarifiers for that. It says, share your gifts. And then the next card we have, they wanted you to be a fake high priestess or priest because they are fake. They thought they had you pegged. They thought they had you figured out. But they were projecting. It's projection. Wanted to be justified for how they treated and doubted you. And so that, that explains you tried to share your gifts with these people. They didn't do the things with integrity because they wanted you they wanted to project onto you their lack of integrity so that they can be excused and have a reason for the way they treated you and dogged you out. They want you to be accountable for overlooking their red flags. But you're no longer doing that. Okay. And you are inspiring other people around you. So that's another reason why these people are really angry because not only can they no longer get over on you, but that is going to extend to even more people because as you raise your vibration, you help to raise the vibration of the planet and anyone in your vicinity. The next card we're clarifying is you will be wealthy. I love it because we did speak about wealth in the last read. You will be wealthy sound healing this is coming out underneath sound healing so that needs to be your affirmation i am wealthy i am wealthy i am wealthy i am wealthy we have remember we had share your gifts 
my gifts will bring me wealth. We spoke about that in the last reading. I was we were talking about how you need to be passionate to your career and how your career is most likely something that has to do with your gifts, your mission, your purpose, and how spirit is going to create a way for you to bring in a financial increase in using those things. All right, so clarifying you will be wealthy we have like-minded okay i'm like it i like it so you're going to be attracting soul family more like-minded people it says you attracted them because you're great too because you this is in the same space where we, they do not deserve the pedestal that you've put them on okay you actually deserve to be on that pedestal so it's time to take them down and put and put yourself there Look up to yourself because you give blueprint vibes. They were not and never were the blueprint. Okay? You are a real, authentic high priestess, high priest. They wanted you to be fake because they are. Thought they had you pegged. Thought they would be able to get over on you. They just wanted to be justified. Okay? So don't downplay your existence. It's time for you to take back your position time for you to step into position throat chakra and talk your shit okay this is coming out underneath sound healing it's affirmation i i am wealthy i have wealth <laughs> next card we're clarifying is breakthrough at hand baby this is coming out underneath get your getting get business affairs in order that's why you need to go ahead and clear all that up handle all of that because your breakthrough is at hand and you don't need to be distracted by trying to you know get those things straightened out once your blessings come in you need to just sit and focus on your blessings okay that's going to come from you sharing your gifts okay <laughs> Breakthrough and hand why clarification high bright vibration high vibration because you are a high vibrating you are a high vibrating being okay okay you stay positive you are love you stay looking at things through the lens of love not through the lens of hurt next card not into you anymore move on because you're too high vibrating for them they're not into you anymore because you, you vibrate too high they can't keep up so don't take it personal okay that they're not into you anymore they're just going to drop off like flies as you flow through life it's no sweat off of your back that's a good reason for them to not be into you anymore. You're too high vibing, okay? You have knocked them off of that pedestal and now you are in that position, okay? Remember, you inspire people to reconsider the true meaning of life, the things they've placed so much importance on. You are, inspire pe you are inspiring people to challenge what they put on pedestals in their lives you're challenging people to do that you earth angel you you earth angel heat you here healing bringing healing to earth i love it you high vibrating person you just in the energy of flow Calling out the emotional sickness that you see. Okay? It's beautiful. You have stopped overlooking red flags. You have allowed yourself to slow down and to gently unwind into that slow healing rhythm of flow to heal your mind, body, and soul. You are not allowing people to put you in the energy of rushing and worry and you know oh you're getting to this certain age you need to start rushing to get this these things done no you're just flow you're in the energy of flow 
Yeah. And that is going to bring your breakthrough in. It's, that's going to clear the pathway for your breakthrough to happen. You are a high priestess. You are a healer. And you're, you are real. That's why you got people reconsidering shit. Because they didn't think it was possible. Humanly possible. But you are proving them wrong. You will prove them wrong. Okay, they've been withholding praise. Because there's definitely, that means there's praise that should have been given. They're withholding it. But you have healed yourself. And you're able to praise yourself. You're able to see how great you are. In the last read, one of the cards that came out is... And even the here says you're downplaying your existence. Don't downplay your existence. But you, you, don't re you don't understand how dope you are. You've been blind to it because people have been withholding praise. You know? But I feel like your ancestors are going to come in. Yeah? Your ancestors are, have been coming in. And have been bringing you the message and reminding you showing you in different ways of how dope you are how powerful you are to help increase your belief in yourself sound healing you need to speak speak literally speak life continue to speak life and especially speak this wealth into your reality yes family yes you have kicked these emotionally sick people out of your life these people that are ruled by their ego and al allows and allow themselves to be obsessed they should be obsessed with nothing but themselves and their healing journey their spiritual journey you know You've kicked these emotionally sick people out of your life. Those who are addicted. You know. Addiction. Addicted to toxicity. Addicted to withholding praise. And, and being fake and phony. You're, you have kicked those people out of your life. You, no longer, you are no longer overlooking those red flags you beautiful earth angel and you did before because you were an earth angel because you were loving you wanted to love everybody but you have to learn the hard lesson that everybody don't don't everybody is not operating within the bandwidth to receive said love said guidance from you via your love because you, you give blueprint vibes but they want to withhold their acknowledgement of that they don't want you to have credit where it's due you are inspiring people your journey your story will inspire so many throat chakra sound healing that's why you must share your story that's why you must speak out that's why you must be your true and authentic self that's why you must question yourself or make sure that you gauge and keep an eye because the question is, is everything done with integrity? You can definitely say yes, I feel. But that should always be, is everything done with integrity, with honesty, with, you know, the highest good of all in mind right you're not trying to take advantage of anyone you want everybody to thrive and win because there is enough abundance there's enough wealth there's enough prosperity for everyone you're not jealous of anyone you don't hold on to anger or spitefulness because you look within and you do the checks 
checks and balances within self to see how the triggering affect you or if you were triggered, if you allowed yourself to be triggered in a, situ in a certain situation. Because if you allow yourself to be triggered, that means you've given your power over. But per the last read, you've taken your power back. So I don't feel like you're allowing yourself to be triggered anymore. Your eyes are open, your discernment is on fleek. You're no longer overlooking red flags. So proud of you, family. Keep doing the thug fizzle. You feel me? All right. I hope it helped in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Love you all. And until next time, peace.